Welcome to this special edition of the ACC Update. I'm Lisa Fletcher. More than 350 cardiovascular professionals are in Washington, D.C. this week for the American College of Cardiology's 2011 Legislative Conference. This year's meeting features an exciting lineup of health policymakers, members of Congress, and key congressional staff addressing hot topics like health reform implementation, Medicare trends, the federal budget debate, and payment innovation and tort reform. In addition, participants will head to Capitol Hill to meet face-to-face -face with their congressional delegations. Joining me today are Drs. Bo Walpole, Chair of the ACC PAC, and Jerry Kennett, Chair of the ACC Advocacy Committee. Gentlemen, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yes. So what are some of the highlights of this year's conference? Well, I think the biggest one so far has been the fact that this conference was held on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. So we invited General Stanley McChrystal, who was head of Afghan forces uh, for the United States and uh, all NATO forces to give us a talk about leadership and it was it was really spectacular. That was a highlight for you as well? Absolutely it was outstanding as well as we had a young captain there who actually represented the Yellow Ribbon Fund who'd been lost both legs in Afghanistan and uh, he gave a very inspiring talk and uh, really was a very a great highlight to me. Dr. Kennett, what key messages are you asking the conference participants to take up to Capitol Hill? There's three key messages. Uh, the first is that America's seniors deserve quality access to care and a stable environment in which able to be able to see the physician that they need to see. And so right now, a 30% cut in reimbursement to physicians would create an environment where Many physicians might not be able to stay in practice, and so access for our seniors and our disabled would, could be jeopardized. So that's our, you know, a very important message. The second message relates to this joint select committee that's, been, that's formed and is looking at debt reduction you know, measures, savings for the country. So we think there's a real opportunity for medical liability reform right now because it is a savings. If we could pass federal professional liability reform legislation, that potentially is 50 to 60 billion dollars of savings for the country. And then the third thing is the ACC has been a leader in basically appropriate use criteria, we call it, which is establishing criteria for when a certain test should be done. We want the right test to be done for the right patient at the right time. And what we've achieved is actually brought down a the cost and reduction in the number of imaging procedures across the country. So we think for another cut in reimbursement for imaging right now would jeopardize the patient being able to get the right test at the right time. There are a record number of FITs and CCAs in attendance this year. Can you talk a little bit about why it's so important for these member groups, along with practice administrators, to be involved in all the advocacy efforts? As you know, medicine no longer is a monarchy of physician telling everyone else what it's to do. And it's teamwork, cardiac care teams. And so we are very fortunate that we have fellows in training, cardiac care associates, we call them, practice administrators, as well as our, our physician members of our organization working as a group. And I think the importance of having almost 400 of these uh, professionals here this week is an indication of how we are working as a team and going forward how important that's going to be. Dr. Walpole, the ACC Political Action Committee is holding several events as part of the Legislative Conference. Can you talk a little bit about the PAC and about its goals? Sure. Well, political action committees were really developed by the Federal Election Commission. And these are a way that citizens can support candidates who support issues that are important to them. So the ACC's Political Action Committee is doing just that. We use our funds to support candidates who understand and support health care issues, the ones that Dr. Kennett just talked about. And for members who aren't in attendance, how do they become a part of the policy effort? Sure. I think the first thing they can do is join the Political Action Committee. Know that their dollars will be uh, used to go towards those, those uh, important things that we talked about. Second thing is to get involved at the grassroots level. Most of politics is about relationships. And if you can develop relationships with your own congressman at home, you're going to go a long way towards educating them on the issues and influencing uh, their voting. So I think getting involved at home is important. 
So true. You know, we're based here in D.C., and it's something that is constantly being hammered home. When you have that relationship with your representative or your senator, it makes such a difference. Right. And really, even the emails and the letters, and, and then, of course, the personal visits, as you and your colleagues are doing this week. Absolutely. Well, thank you both for being here. Sure. We really, really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. The ACC's legislative conference is an important opportunity for the cardiovascular community to unite as one voice and educate members of Congress about the many ways that the college is working to ensure high-quality, cost-effective care. More information on the conference, including photo highlights and blog coverage, is available on cardiosource.org slash legislative conference. Thanks for watching.